hey guys welcome back to my channel and hello again aries Alrighty, happy may guys so this is our first career and money reading for may 2022 let's turn the camera and let's read together and let's see how you guys are doing so hopefully everybody everybody is doing great right here on may 1st i'm gonna throw 10 cards as always I look for breaking down elements of your question or the goal. And so we're looking at six key points. What, why, how, and when, where, and with whom. And let's see what we could say on this first spread of 10 cards. And then let's see if we throw another um, 10 cards to give us additional detail. So hopefully you guys are doing great. And hopefully we are getting to this element of financial stability. We are getting to a spot from which we can not only grow but grow and invest further now let's look at the cards and see what's happening here alrighty so we begin it with a moment of judgment so it's some kind of a finality it's some kind of a phase if you will judgment right judgment either a decision we're making or a conclusion we are reaching i am inclined to consider that this is more of a conclusion because what's coming after is the lover so conclusion and then that leads to an element of choice the lover and judgment we have to judge a particular um, approach we have to judge a particular offer we are in the selection process between two good offers okay immediate action we have here is kind of putting again the finality the final touches um the you know what meet on a particular skeleton of an idea i don't know why i went there but here we are looking at a nine of coins Alrighty, and the nine of coins once you begin to flesh out or once you begin to concentrate on one of the two choices that you have available to you here it's as if you open up not pandora's box but you open up the wheel of fortune to provide opportunities to provide you know what new ideas to evolve further towards your uh, benefit and advantage and then the beauty is the asset available here that we are describing for you guys is a ten of coins so it's like you're blessed with the ability to complete something you're going to care for okay you're blessed with the ability to put the right final touches on the choice that you are making here now aries some of you guys are self-employed some of you guys are leaders business managers some of you are seeking a job some of you are in a job already now the element of choice and the element of how you judge that choice is now going to rely okay on the element of earth so we have three earthy cards here the nine the ten and the four but really your best action your best bet in order to pick the right approach the right choice to make the right decision between those two what appeared like two offers okay is to put some detail all right the nine of coins is suggesting we're getting close to having a full plan the ten of coins here which is your asset suggests you are great at completing these kinds of plans or presentations or also the validation that one of those two is the one that will really take you to this foundation of money and then an ability to invest and develop and grow further and further opportunity comes with analysis her majesty the queen of cups sits there she's like okay i'm seeing situations that change i'm seeing that aries has okay made up their mind one way or another about their decision and they have selected an approach okay and they have selected the earthy approach now the analysis of opportunities that came around that choice is going to take you even further to understand it's like a layer of detail gets added another layer of detail gets added when you look at the king of cups here so those two are kind of working together the king of cups is the completion of knowledge and the reminder that in your choice the way that you make your decision choosing between those two job offers if you will or those two can we say market geographies because i'm still looking at a wheel of fortune here that says shake it up one of the immediate results is we want to shake things up we are doing that now with energies like that of the king of cups like that of the queen of cups being analytical and showing others as well 
um, the value of a particular project or uh, showing yourself and assuring yourself that this really completes the formula you were looking for. It's as if the opportunity here, the queen says, oh, but I wish there could be this and this as part of this package, this part uh, as part of this offer, if you will. And the king assures that this message is relayed to those who will sign, to those who will hire, or those who will promote, or those who will fund your new project, okay? So an element of choice leads me towards two job offers, okay, or two new market geographies if you guys are considering expanding or growing into a new market. And it doesn't have to be that you own the business already. A lot of us are leaders and territories are something that we consider the geography of where we do business. Timing note here as you act suggests the Knight of Swords, which means honest, blunt, to the point, okay, relying on facts. And if you have to ask someone to put some assurances for you so that the offer you select is the best one, you do that. You have the Knight of Swords here. We have a purpose note here that shows the Ten of Swords as well. It's the finality along with the other finality that we are seeking. And it comes to Swords element as if to say the judgment that we are making here, the sound judgment that you are applying into choosing between those two comes with data and it comes with information and you were seeking, if that resonates with you Aries, with the Ten of Swords here, you are seeking that clarity that takes you towards finality, okay? Without trying to make rhymes, I promise you. <laughs> and the possibility is the four of coins, which is an earthy grounded possibility, which is a foundation. Okay. So again, back to you, the employee, the foundation does not have to be towards you investing in a new business, but it could be, you know what, considering a current market situation, considering a little bit of a long-term investment, something like that. At the end of the day, Aries, somebody is growing here enough to a point where they can sit and stash some cash. Alrighty, 10 more and let's see what they may suggest. As you guys could see, I'm back to using the um, reading mat that my wife had initially sewn for me she's actually sitting quite close to me as i record so this feels good because it's flat and we can do everything we want to the cards all right all right okay so this one now we begin with a page of swords okay rationality continues to be a theme around us and look at it and on top of the lover you now have the two of wands okay the new beginning Okay, the choice that you're making, all right, to take you to a page of swords energy, and then it's an exciting decision. So it's like you wanted some information to make up your mind in order to initiate the new phase, initiate the new Aries program. All righty, then we have here the Pope as an immediate action. So prior to that, you had the nine of coins. Now with the Pope, we are ensuring that whatever information we are sending and receiving, okay is in line with the people who have to approve the people who need to hire etc etc it's a little bit of a note on charisma and communication but it brings you an immediate result of a fiery fired up new beginning here with the ace of wands so what does all of that mean okay <laughs> let's go back now and say what does all of that mean page of swords onto a two of wands it's like you have something that is super exciting internally you feel something you know something not everybody on the outside knows that so i have a note to say to you aries which is be a little bit like the pope be a little bit reserved okay on um, <clears throat> heroic expectations. Let's put it this way. Stay to the ground, stay down to earth in terms of your expectations. Um, I'm not just going to say under promise and over deliver because I'm really speaking about your expectations. So you're taking one of those two offers. It promotes a new beginning. It's an exciting choice, right? And now that puts you in a more of a, can we say it a higher status um, at the new can we call it also new job the new role so we have the high priestess here as an asset available prior to that you had an amazing skill with the ten of coins both are closers both are commercially super super savvy especially the high priestess so a skill set available to you is the ability to discern the ability to qualify 
where you spend your time, where you spend your effort, because that's part of how you're making money. It all has to do with the choices. We go back to the lover now, and we go back to the judgment card and say, why was that important? The lover has a choice, a choice that is sometimes closer to their passion, to their heart. If we look back at the image here, and then we have the other choice, which has to do with a little bit of authority, a little bit of wanting status, if you will. With the sound judgment that you have exercised, Aries, you are now able to reap the rewards. And not only that, you're able to make the progress steps um, smooth. We have cup elements here. The opportunity comes with a seven of cups and also you're able to give others information in the way they can understand it and on a need to know basis. That's something I wanted to mention when I first saw the Pope, as if to say, share with those who care, share with those who have your best interest and simplify the messages for those who are, you know what, not paying attention to your project or your idea detail. Okay. Seven of cups. Confidence and validation come with this opportunity. After you do the analysis, you get super confident. Prior to that, we had the Queen of Cups. And now we have a beautiful four on top of the King of Cups. So the King of Cups sat in this position of what is my outlook? What needs to be complete? How do I see the current situation? And it was about knowledge. <coughs> Excuse me. It was about information being complete. Either you are gaining this knowledge or you are relaying it. And then I after said, you're going to relay it sharp, honest, and to the point with a king of swords energy. All right, let's go back. Now we got the four of swords. So the knowledge the king of cups provides was a business model, was the business, can we call it the business process? Can we call it the commercial model? Who's going to do what? And having some financial ideas as well as to when that becomes profit. The timing note suggests a two of coins. So developing the idea from the ground up, developing the idea or accepting, accepting the role that has to do with more coins and it has to do with security. So we'll go back here and say those two roles, okay, those two offers, those two partnership ideas, one of them had a more grounded element to it. And that's the one that this reading is leading me to say to you, take that one on, okay? The more um, we look at long-term growth, the more we appreciate that in long-term growth, there will be a path that is uncharted. And that's what we got here. So really, it's as if Aries, you have the willpower, you have the ability to go on an uncharted path, if you will, a new route, towards your growth, towards your financial stability, financial um, advancement. And now you have the moon here as a purpose. So I want to be not necessarily away from the moon or out of the moon. I want to be in the, clear, in the clear. After the moon comes a daylight, comes sunshine, comes clarity. And then you have the element of advancement with the eight of cups. So smooth sailing is what I see. And I'm looking at this reading to really represent the outlook for week one of May, 2022. I see a decision being made. I see you've relied on sound judgment. I also see that that brings a new beginning. It's as if the element of speed may not be 100% there, but the elements of progress and advancement are definitely there. Several fours we got, okay, several twos we got, characters and energies that have beyond book knowledge, and an asset that says Aries is a closer. Aries is going to put the fine details like we talked about the Knight of Swords, put the fine details in their presentation or in their response as they get offered and say, I need this clearly because I kind of need to have no moon as the path here. I need to have a clear, uh, bright as sunlight, bright as sunshine path towards advancing in this role that you are accepting. So I am positively projecting on you guys, okay? A choice between two offers, one of them, something that takes you towards financial security, stability, and a room to grow from as well. Well, guys, this was our reading, which I hope you guys liked. Let me know what you thought. And as always, Aries, I hope you guys know we do love you madly.
and bye for now guys